Here's how to use the sort function in Excel and how to avoid messing up your file while you're doing it. Sorting allows you to reorder your data. This list of employees is currently in alphabetical order by employee name, but I would like for it to be ordered by years of service, with the most senior person being at the top. To do that, I need to first highlight all of the data. One way to do this is to go to the top left cell and click and hold the left button on the mouse and proceed to the bottom right cell where the data ends. Then I let go of the button. I want to make sure that I include any column headers when I do this. If you do not have column headers, this process will still work. It'll just look a little different. An alternative way to highlight the data is to click the triangle at the top left. It'll highlight every cell in the sheet. However, I don't recommend it if your data isn't all the way to the top and left edges of the sheet, like in this example here. One big mistake that I've seen a lot of people do is to only highlight a portion of the sheet. Don't do this unless you're sure about what you're doing. You could seriously mess up your data. With everything highlighted, I'm going to click the word data, and then on the ribbon beneath it, I'll click sort. I'm going to use this interface to specify the order in which I want things sorted. When you arrive on this screen, you may or may not see rows of items like these. They will only appear if someone has done a sort in the past. I suggest you start from scratch by deleting the rows on the screen. To do that, you highlight one of the rows and then you click the delete level button. And you need to do that for each row. There's a semi-important box in the top left called My Data Has Headers. Since I have column headers as part of my highlighted text, it's best to have that box checkmarked. I'm going to click the Add Level button. A single row will appear, and in the first pull-down, I'm going to select Years of Service. In the last column, I'll specify largest to smallest, since I want the longest serving employee to appear at the top of my list. I always leave the middle column alone so that it says cell values. I'm about to hit OK, but I want to show you what happens when I click the My Data Has Headers box on and off. It removes the years of service and puts the column number in instead. It's also highlighting and unhighlighting the header row in the data. I just wanted to show you what that box actually does. Now I'm going to click OK. The rows are now sorted by years of service. But what if I wanted to sort it by two factors? For example, whether or not they are full-time or part-time, and also how much their wage is. If what I said doesn't make sense, let me show it to you first. I highlight the data again, and then go back to sort. The parameters of the last search are still there. I'll pick level in the first dropdown. Now I'm going to click add level, and select hourly wage, Excel knows that the level column contains text and allows me to select which way to sort it alphabetically. I'm going to pick A to Z. For hourly wage, I'll select largest to smallest. Then I'll click OK. Now I have the full-time people in one block, and within that block, they're sorted by wage. The same thing happens for the block of part-timers. The three salary people appear as NA in this column, so it puts them at the top of the list. With this kind of sort, I can see which full-timers make the most money. That's the basics of the sort function in Excel. If it helped you out, please hit the like button. If you'd like to learn about the filter function, click the video on the screen in front of you. Have a good day, everybody.